Have you ever felt lonely? Like the walls and smell from your anime body pillow were closing in around you, and the only thing that can cure you is the gentle touch of a woman? Well, have I got the game for you! Summer Lesson is the game that lets you fulfill your wildest dreams, spending time with girls! But not just any girls, anime girls! Which, if we're being honest, are much better than the real ones, what with their cooties and whatnot. Yes, Summer Lesson is a game for all of us lonely boys out there who want nothing more than gentle companionship. Even the back of the box says so. Only in VR can you enjoy this unique communication experience. What? You mean talking to girls? Because you're right, I have never talked to a girl. Thank God for VR, am I right? And if you liked the video, remember to like and subscribe to help me reach my sub goal of 1 trillion subscribers. That's trillion with a T. But I know you've all heard this before, so let's just get on with the video. There are three versions of Summer Lesson. The one with the dumb rich girl, the one with a pure-blooded American, and the one I don't have. Sure, I could get it, but the thing is like 50 bucks on Amazon, and quite frankly, I'm just not really willing to pay. If there are any rich sugar mommies out there who are really interested and want to see me play the game, you can send it to my P.O. box at 1 I am really just not that interested lane. You star as some Japanese guy, or gal, and your job is to teach these girls the meaning of love, or something. Actually, it's not quite so philosophical. Depending on the game, you teach different things. In the one with the American, you teach her Japanese culture to prove to her evil music producer just how much she loves Japan. In the other one I've got, you have to teach this girl how to be hip, which is weird because there's no lessons on bones in the game. But yeah, you have one week to get the scores as high as possible, and that's about it. So here's how every day works. You choose a subject to teach, spend your chat topic cards, then choose an extra lucky item, then play out the day. After that, all you really do is choose how to instruct the girl, which affects how many points you get. Sometimes it's obvious, like focus studying, but sometimes it's absolute bullshit and your options are like eat popsicles, apply sunscreen, or take your shoes off. And I'm just like, huh, what? How am I supposed to choose? All of these options are equally sexy. After that, you choose a topic to discuss with your student, and then do whatever activity you chose. Sometimes you share a water bottle, sometimes you get hypnotized, and sometimes they'll do a dance for you. Wait, is this really what being a tutor is like? Sorry guys, I guess I forgot to mention this before, but I'm actually planning on quitting YouTube and I'm opening up the Court of Lord Joe Girls School for the Physically Privileged. I'm something of a tutor myself. If you would like to sign up, please send me a headshot in your three sizes. I only tutor 18 to 20 year old supermodels. Oh, I got a bit sidetracked there. Anyway, you do this cycle for seven days and then the game is over and you find out whether or not you're a competent tutor. Personally, I like the endings where you do really poorly and the girls call you crying. But you may be asking, isn't this game a bit short if a week only takes somewhere between 30 minutes and an hour? And you would be right, theoretical person with information I haven't provided yet. The game is short. This is meant to be like an arcade style game. You play repeatedly to get all the events and max out your score. But there are just way too many design flaws for that to be fun or worthwhile. The biggest flaw I see is the different topics you can teach and how they level up each stat. You have five stats you need to max out for each girl, and various topics you can teach to level up two of the stats. The flaw here is that these topics have levels, and by repeating the same topic, you level it up, which rewards more stat points when you choose it. So instead of encouraging players to select a variety of topics to create a well-rounded individual, you select the same three topics over and over that cover all the stats you need to get the most benefit. This gets boring really quickly, but it's the optimal way to play for a good score. Plus, these levels carry over from playthrough to playthrough, so if you're really going for that high score, you'll just end up doing the same thing over multiple playthroughs, which is horrendously boring. Another thing is you use these chat topic cards to boost your stat points you get from teaching, and it's quite a bit of a bonus, but it can take a while to build these scorecards up. So if you were actually planning to get a really good score, you'd probably have to do a few runs of the game where you don't use any and just stockpile, all the while running the same activities over and over to raise the levels as well. What this results in is just a repetitive experience, and all for what? Really? Some virtual girl to tell you thanks and give you a smack on the cheek? Great! 
Now taking my headset off feels like I'm getting jettisoned back into the loneliness of space. Truthfully, I think the issue with the game is that it couldn't decide whether it wanted to be an arcade-style game or more of an experience, because as I said before, the game doesn't lend itself to an arcade-style experience at all. Because when you play it, you end up repeating the same content over and over. And when you do that, you just end up holding the skip button the whole time and the game becomes now loading VR. I think the game does work a little bit better as an experience where your goal is just kind of to hang out with these girls rather than aiming for any sort of high score. I think maybe if the levels of activities and the scorecards were removed, the experience would be a lot less grindy. Plus, then it wouldn't make you feel bad for not min-maxing by doing the same three activities over and over. Make the game take place over a couple weeks, and then you would have plenty of time to do the various activities, see the different events, and the score would be more based on how well-rounded your curriculum is and how you answer the questions, rather than how much you can spam the same three activities and how many scorecards you have to spend. I feel like the developers were attempting to add replayability to a game where it's not replayable at all, and just made everything far worse in the process. As it is, I don't really feel like the game worked, but don't take my word for it. Listen to these testimonials I got from actual players. I would never wear a bikini for a tutor. Is that a Japanese thing? Joe, why are you making me play these weird anime games? I like the game, but I like dicks more. Oh my god, I can't believe he definitely really said that. It didn't even really have anything to do with the game, he just wanted everyone to know, I guess. At the end of the day, I would say that Summer Lesson reaches an unhappy medium between an arcade-style game and an experience-style game. I mean, Summer Lesson, it's just a really bad game. It's terrible. Awful. I can't imagine anyone thinking this is a good... What, what, what are you doing, Shinjo? No, don't do that! Not, not the sword! Ah!